This is your lean inner thighs workout. You're gonna feel a nice slow burn to tone up those inner thighs. I'm Action Jacqueline, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start standing and we're gonna do a front attitude. So I'm gonna have my ankle kind of turned out, so everything turns out from the hip. And then we're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. So if you need a little balance support, just go to a kitchen countertop or something and that should help you. But think about standing up really nice and tall through this. So we're gonna do everything on one leg and then we'll do it a second time around, do it on the other leg, okay? So make sure that you stay on the same leg for the whole time. I always love working the inner thighs. I always feel like they're kind of a sneaky muscle, kind of hard to get to muscle. So this will be a nice, good, slow burn for those inner thighs. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our laying down where we're just going to tap the foot under or tap it over and then we're just gonna lift and lower, lift and lower, that's it. Lift, lower, lift, lower. So here we are laying down, which is kind of nice, but you wanna make sure that you're keeping the bottom leg as straight as possible, okay? Good. So if it's kind of uncomfortable to sit the foot up like this, you could even just put the knee down or you could grab a yoga block here and just place the knee on the yoga block, which is probably the most comfortable of all of them. Good, lift, lower, lift, lower. And then just go ahead and take a look at your alignment, making sure that you're in one line, you're not sticking your butt out or letting the ribs pop out. So check everything. Make sure it's in one line. Okay, now we're gonna kick low, kick high. Kick low, kick high. Whew. You feel this right away, especially if you have ankle weights on like me. You're feeling this for sure. You can take breaks if you need to, like I am. They just burn up so quickly and it's like, wow, okay. All right, now we're gonna have the, both of the legs come together and we're gonna have the top one come up, the bottom one comes to meet it, low down, just like that. So lift up, up, then lower. So this one is also really great for engaging the core. So that's why it's really important that the whole body is straight. Tuck the booty under slightly as well. Ribs are knitted together and you're gonna feel those obliques working. All right, now we're gonna come up just a little bit and we're gonna pull this knee in, extend out, lift, and down. In, out, lift, and down. Ooh. Definitely, definitely feel that a lot. Make sure that you're not slouching here on this other shoulder. And if you do need more space, you can go back down to the floor if you need to. But I like to do it upright here because then I can work my posture and core a little bit more. Stop. 
Okay, now we're gonna do a fun one, a really sassy one that I like. You're gonna grab your top ankle and you're gonna kind of situate yourself on your hip. The bottom leg is gonna come up to meet it and lower it down. I call it the, the showgirl inner thigh move. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but it's a fun, it's a fun exercise. And if you need to bend the knee a little bit, you can. Or you can even just put it down and just do it like this as well. But I like to get kind of fancy with it and do the showgirl leg. <laughs> our stomachs we're gonna do a little fast heel clicks so you're gonna click everything together click 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 in like that as fast as you can all right here we go so the my head is on my forehead I'm pulling my lower belly in and I'm clicking my heels together as fast as I can feeling those inner thighs turning on and burning like crazy but they can even touch us we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the leaves Oh, getting caught in the mist is a man that they'll never get out of Their feet in the fears and the doubts Ooh. Keep going in, 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 in You've got this In, 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 in Now we're gonna go on to our backs. Last move before we go to the left side is we're going to bring the legs up. We're gonna do a little beat, 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 open, beat, beat, and open. Good, just like that. Keep the legs as straight as you can. Point the toes, engage your quads, firm up the whole leg. So I like to do a little crisscross switching each time. So now we are going to stand up. We're gonna do everything now on the left side. Are you excited? So let's go with our front attitude lift. Up and lower. Up and lower. Now if any of you feel any sort of clicking going on in the hips, that happens to me as well. You just wanna move a little bit slower and pull the abs in tighter. So it just means that the hip flexors are taking over. Sometimes you can't even change it, it's just the way you're anatomically made. But sometimes you can mitigate it by engaging the core more and moving a little bit slower through the leg. Let's lay down. Always fun when you get to lay down. Okay, so now we're just going to lift and lower. I'm gonna have my block here for my knee and lift, lower, lift, and lower. So I'm kind of pressing down with the right knee as well to help stabilize the hips and to activate the inner thighs.
Okay, let's move on to our next one. So we're gonna kick low, kick high. This one's a good one. So kick low, kick high. Whew. This one definitely feels like a strong burn. But just remember that on the other side of this burn is growth, is strength. And it's like we always kind of have to go through these tough things, you know? You have to, how they say, break through in order to break free. So, maybe it's a little deeper than just an inner thigh workout, but you get what I'm saying. All right, let's remove that block, and now we're gonna have both legs together, lift, and lower. So I'm really using this hand on the mat as well. Good, so lift, squeeze, lower. Engage that core, this is a really good one to get the obliques working as well. I love mat work because even though we're really working the muscles, it's also relaxing at the same time to just be able to lay down, focus on your body, it truly is a gift to be able to have this time together, to focus just on you and your health and your well being. And so just find that sense of appreciation, even through the burn, <laughs> you know? Okay. Now we're gonna pull in and lift straight up. So we're gonna pull in, out, and up, down. Good, in, out, up, and down. So you wanna make sure that your posture is good, so stay lifted up here in the core. Press through the elbow so that you're not sinking in the shoulder too much. All right, it is time for our show stopping leg move. So show off those beautiful legs of yours. Reach and I'm gonna scooch over a little bit so I can have more balance on my hip and lower and lift. And really just try to stay tall through the chest, stay tall through the heart and point your toes, squeeze those inner thighs together. Just a few more exercises here. You're doing great. Little heel clicks. You know this one's a good one. So just lay that forehead down, squeeze the inner thighs, pull the abs in, and let's go. In, in, in. Think about your form even here. So pull up the abs, draw the shoulders down, point the toes, keep the quads engaged. Think about elongating through the whole body so that you're not compensating anywhere. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Good. And let's come on to our backs for our final move right here. 
We're gonna do our out in, out in. Let's go. Crisscross, open, crisscross, open. So hopefully this feels also like a nice stretch through the legs and you're just switching the cross of the legs each time, pointing your toes, feeling strong in your legs. Let's take a nice quick stretch here to release the tension. Ah, this is a really good one. Just allow the legs to open up and release those inner thighs. You did an amazing job today. And this is one of those great quick workouts. You can squeeze in, you can pair it with my other workouts. And this will really help to just create alignment through your body, tone and sculpt your beautiful thighs. Amazing job, that wasn't easy, so you should be proud of yourself. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, because that really helps me out to create more videos like this. And if you're the type of person that thrives on accountability and progress tracking, then download my Stretchy Fit app. You can start absolutely free, be a part of a loving community, and get my best bar and yoga programs. All right, I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.